Hey, Planeswalkers, hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck, my friends. We have a Is It Dragons list here for you. A 7-0 metagame challenge winner. Very excited to cover this list. We've got a lot of things to talk about. A couple of updates, a couple of changes um, for this key archetype here today. Um, this list by our friend uh, Lucas. 26 1977 so congratulations bud on hitting this um, and knocking things down with this list excited for sharing thank you for sharing um, and look forward to covering it here today my friend so appreciate you tuning in flip me that like if you enjoyed today's episode on top of that if you got a question if you get a comment let me know down below love to hear from you as always or feel free to hop on the discord server that is available to you in the description along with this deck list and the timestamps where we will break down the strategy objective of this list we'll cover your boarding for best of three we'll go play that competitive magic here today on the reset now for november uh to december because it's december oh my gosh can't believe it the year's gonna end um on top of that uh, for best of one and best of three, my friends. And uh, last but not least, we'll do a little bit of an outtake retrospective, talk about this list and all that jazz as we always do. So thank you um, for tuning in. Thank you for spending your time with us here today. Um, on top of that, great ways to stay connected on the channel. Please feel free to subscribe, stay up to date on all the things in the multiverse. Um, on top of that, um, great ways to stay connected, like I mentioned, or benefits to you as well. So thank you to the patron members as well as our YouTube members. Um, with that said, you are here for Is It Dragon? So what's new, what's cooking, what's happening? A um, couple things here. This particular list I like runs Hellkite here, Mana Farm. This was a big pickup um, from the Innistrad Crimson Vow. So this thing's got flying. Whenever we cast a non-creature spell, we're going to create a XX Red Dragon Illusion creature, uh, token of flying and haste. A lot of times you see this drop turn four. If it's not removed, a lot of things happen. A lot of damage happens um, and certainly makes a difference. Now you're going to exile that token after, um, but that's one thing that I like. This particular list had four of these. Um, I actually dropped to popped in two fading hopes because it's more aggressive against your best of one uh, list like mono white, mono green. On top of that, um, saving my craft. Apologies um, on the mythic stuff. So you can always go to forum, make sure that list has that update available for you as well. Um, so the biggest thing about this list is. You are playing control magic up until the three drop here. You get activation with smoldering egg, which has always been a big one. Um, then you get the Ashmouth dragon. Um, again, we don't have a lot of pickups here. The only difference I like with this one is it does run syncopate, uh, pate, syncopate, <laughs> um, in terms of a counter spell, which is really, really nice. And it has exile instead of putting it into its, uh, orange graveyard, which is huge. Um, in this particular meta. So keep those things in mind. It doesn't have a ton of burn. I flip this in to kind of push things back. Your only burn is going to be spike filled. Um, on top of that, you got other pushback with divide by. So you have to be very, very particular in terms of your play um, to set yourself up for success. So keep that in mind. We don't have that board wipe. Um, board wipe is there in the sideboard. We'll get that uh, out for you in best of three, but those were some adjustments that I made for best of one. And given the deck list and those things, um, I think make a lot of value for you and excited to run through it here today with you as well. So strategy objective of this list, it's really a mid-range late game list. You get Elrond's Epiphany. You also get the, um, you remove the pickups um, from the is it turns list where you can keep getting the cast there. Um, so that's one difference to keep in mind. So you do have the bigger creatures though and you do have the ability to play around um, a couple of different things. So that is a big, big difference here um, in terms of those things. And then the difference uh, in terms of as we move into Crimson Vow. So um, that is a strategy objective of this list. As we move into best of three, the big pieces are gonna be three things, aggro, mid-range, and late game, um, as we always like to talk about. So aggro, we kind of talked about a little bit. We made those changes with Fading Hope. Um, we're gonna flip in things like Burning Hands or Cinderclasm specific to aggro decks. These are things like mono white aggro. We also got mono green here. We got uh, Boros on top of that. 
um, a few other things in this space like mono red goblins and the likes. Um, there you can run into gruel aggro. Um, also, Jund Midrange begins to be or Jund Aggro um, in this space. Again, another bridge deck um, to keep in mind. So those are some of the cards that you want to board in. Um, what you would board out, some of the counter spell stuff that you're not going to need per se, um, but still very, very important. Senko Fan can help you at the turn two. Um, so keep those things in mind. As we move off that, we'll get to midrange. Midrange again, we talked about the Jund. We got the uh, Gruel Werewolves, again, another bridge deck. Um, on top of that, we got Is It Dragons again, bridge from there to late game. Um, but we have Is It Tempo decks, Spirit decks. Um, we have Selesnia Humans uh, here in this space. Um, biggest things to keep in mind are going to be are they more creature based or more uh, late game based? And late game is more, uh, you know, instant spell, uh, sorcery spell kind of stuff. Um, if they are more focused on that, we'll pivot from that aggro-based lineup here with Burning Hands and Cinderclasm to more of a Disdainful Stroke um, kind of a lineup. So those are going to be the big things. Unless they're not popping off on turn four with the Disdainful Stroke, then that's another qualifier in terms of how we want to play this. Um, last but not least, we have Late Game. Late Game are going to be your control decks. we got Azorus, we got Dimmer, we just ran Dimmer. Um, you can check that out. Certainly, Hullbreaker is going to be the big piece in this meta. Um, we got on top of that Sultai, if you want that. Um, we have a host of other things. We got Is It, Is It, Is It, um, Is It Turns, Epiphany, whatever you call it, Grixis. Is it Grixis or Is It, Is It? Um, so keep those things in mind. That's really going to manage in terms of what you're going to do for your lineup and in terms of what you're going to do for your best of three. Again, the biggest trade off is going to be Disdainful Stroke. What you'll do is you'll pop out your Dragon Fires, um, and that's going to be the big one there. So that is the strategy objectivist list in terms of mid range to late game. We got more creature heavy stuff. We're not taking advantage of the multi turn turns, um, which is still good. I call that fair. Um, last but not least, there. Um, we lined up in terms of some of the other strategies um, across the board. So uh, again, if you got questions, if you got comments, please let me know. Love to hear from you. But let's move forward here and move on to the competitive portion of today's video um, that a lot of you enjoy. We are good. And see this Maniform Hellkite um, in action. So there we go. Again, the season just reset. We're in standard rank. This would be best of one. Looking forward to this and seeing how we can drive all kinds of value now with our new and updated dragons list. Now, um, as always, if you get a question, if you get a comment, let me know. All right. One, season just reset. Two, I'm gonna keep this because I like it. Here's why I like it. I got burn cards. In best one, aggro heavy, most likely. Reset, most likely, aggro heavy. So we need to play to that. There we go, there's one play. Turn two, we're doing this. We're gonna wait. Because we don't know what they have, but we have this. There we go. Now we can spike it. Doesn't change any of our tempo. Let's see this first. Um, let's do this again. I got one of these. Let's put that back. We'll put this here. I got plenty of blue. Let's grab our another red. Double red for the dragons. Now we have we still have a couple options here. Ooh, going teamer. So we've got to kill that thing. Thank you, thank you. We'll try it. So now we got syncopate. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to pull this. Here's why I'm going to pull this. Because I want to show you this card.
Do I want the mana? Ugh. You can go with the turn. Put that one back. We'll grab the mana. There we go. It worked. Math was good. Uh-oh. That's a problem. A big, big problem. See if we get it off. Ooh, we got it. There we go. Four drop is good. We'll see if we get to the turn. Ah, coma's fine. So before the stack, so indestructible, um, activated abilities can't be activated. So, bam, we we're gonna grab a land and go to town, my friends. Bam, we did it. Teamer, done, 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 done. Love it. That was a great start for a best of one. Very, very nice. Ether Helix. All right, on to the next one. Best of one, match two. We like it. All right, we're keeping this because we got Smoldering Egg, we got some burn. At least to help us for turn one. Okay. Now we still need the double red. We'll let this hit and I will burn this. So it's not gonna get pulled back later because that is very, very important here. We can do this because we got that guy. Do that. Now we could have played the control. Could have played the control. That's okay. Give him this. Now it depends on what they want to do. So we have a counter and we got divide by. Grab. Let's grab that actually. Should have played that. Playing a little bit too fast. Should have played that. Because that would have given us our turn five. Alright, we're still there. Two options. Start there. That will push back. Grab this one. Is 
that first. We'll hold it. So we exile those two. We double up on the dragons if that's what they want to do. Otherwise we keep it. Ooh. Top deck game. Do they do it? I would. go top deck game there we go one two three four five six seven eight Wait. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should give them seven. There we go. Now, this will hurt. Go to the face. Oof. Get a second dragon. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna keep these two. We have lethal. Yes! 2-0, baby. That's the one. Oof. Third and... Final best of one was with is it dragons my friends All right, here we go I will keep Don't like this as much because I don't have any burn, but I do have a turn three Delay 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 and I'm on the play So, that works. No, Marduk. So, I expect Connor. Oh. Oh. It's fine. I have a Connor. Ooh. Esper, Esper, Esper.
rein. Uh. So here we go. I'd sooner grab two more cards right now. that thing back. Let's go that. I got a lot more protection here. So as long as we survive here, um, we can drop Mascot next. Then we pump this back, they won't have enough. Let's 
Bummer. I'm gonna say they could very well have a nice board wipe. Which is fine. I've got a look again here. Put that one back, grab that. Now we can pull it back, so don't forget that. They need a counter spell here. One, two, three, four, five. It hurt. Not enough yet. Not enough yet. We'll see. Did Mardok get it? Wipe? Now remember, we still got our Hall of Storm Giants here. Now they can still hit me with a board wipe and counter for three. There we go. That's what we needed.
So this is all gone anyway. Make them choose. So they will get teachings. I can still build the giant and it's game over. Boom. 3-0, baby. Perfect start. Perfect start here to the new season, Planeswalkers. All right, we're going to move into our best of three portion. Oh, it's so nice of today's video. Or standard. This is the dimmer control one you can check out today. Is it dragons? Is it, is it? Let's do it. It's a tough one. I'm going to try it. Not first, but I'm going to try it. Black Dragon Wave. Play this one, two. We're going to bank. Get a land turn. Two turns. Gives us a chance. If not, probably could be a bad spot. There we go. Uh-oh. Dragon versus dragon. Four turns. One of the two. Now we can hit this thing, though. Get it off the board. See what they do. Test the talents is what we need. We'll move in our negates. Well, not negate. Four drop counter. Two drop on the four drop counter. Let's see if we get there. Ah. Dragons versus dragons. Which is just fine, my friends. It's fine. Uh... The fact that we missed is a huge problem on the land drop. Huge problem. And we're still missing our red. We'll be at five. They light my guy up. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Ugh. Maybe, maybe I make it through. They got three cards still. There we go, land's a good thing.
All right, let's see. What do we get? Do we get anything that's going to change anything? Nope. All right, let's move in our counter spells. So we need one, two, three, four. Don't like that one. Fading Hope's gone. Three more. What do we want to remove? Take one of those out. One of those. Fire is okay. Let's drop one. Only works if we have a dragon. Otherwise, it's not as good. Let's actually do this. So removal. Best play is counter. Access the board. All right. Black dragon wave. We are first this time. So let's see what happens. We can keep this. Boom, boom. I need to decide if I go red. It's a big problem. I'm going red. Ugh. Ugh. Missing the land drop there probably just cost us the game. Honestly. That's a burn on my egg. Egg on the face. We'll see. Called it. Told you. Not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. I'm going to attempt to play around that. We'll see. <laughs> we'll depend on how committed they are. Alright, we're in the play. I need a land. All right, land can do it. Ooh, not enough.
All right. Do we live? So they have enough to make a turn. If they drop a land. If they don't. We're in a good position again. Lots of depends here. Dropping the hall and attacking in won't do much. Stack, choose two, one, two. So that gives me four. Not quite what I want. Two, three. Oh, less. So if they don't hit me here, we're good. If they have a turn, we're dead. We got real risky here. There you go, pay the one. Not bad. Now you have no counter though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's enough. Again. Let's do it again. Whew. Not bad. Don't forget, nice swag on the channel for you. Let's see what we can do. Black Dragon Wave. Oh, we're gonna keep it. So I got these two. Is no turn four yet, so we can keep disdainful. We'll try for two.
We'll see. It's a risk. We could have waited because we had two turns there. If they don't connect, we'll be in a good spot. All right. There we go. So depending on what happens here, we could have lethal. Go ahead. See. Not gonna counter that. All right. Bam. Now that, my friends, is a way to start a brand new season for Innistrad Crimson Vow. Certainly stoked about that. We had a great showing and a great run today. Very, very excited. Look at that. Look at that. We can apply the bat. We will take that. So let's go ahead and check out today's deck. Um, again, this one was a 7-0 metagame challenge winner um, by our friend uh, Lucas261997. Um, made a couple of changes. Like I said, I moved off two Hellkites, flipped into Fading Hopes um, to kind of help us against aggro decks. Oddly enough, we didn't hit any of those. Um, so very, very interesting here today. So best of one, we went three and oh, best of three. Um, I think it was what two and one, two and oh. All I know is we won. It's good, intense. Nonetheless, very excited about what we have going on here. So where does this deck list sit in the meta? So that is a great question and always a good question. Um, so for best of one, is it turns is kind of in the middle of the pack right now. Um, so I would say probably top of tier two, potentially bottom of tier one, um, as a list in terms of best of three, probably something similar. We know that, uh, turns is very popular. Uh, runes is very popular. We got a new addition here with Hellkite. Some of the other additions don't run that. Um, but we've seen today, it can be very, very strong for you. It's a little bit of delay play and then play um, very, very helpful with that card. Nonetheless. So um with that the turn five plays probably the best so um because you got things like fade and hope and all that stuff um but with that planeswalkers or and um today to close out if you get a question if you get a comment let me know flip me that like if you enjoyed the video or just because i crushed it which is always great um on top of that feel free to hop on the discord server that is available to you down below in the details um for additional questions and a great group of folks there um ready and willing to uh talk to you as well um so thank you everyone um last but not least please feel free to stay connected here on the channel we got a lot of things going on in the multiverse love to hear from you as always um with that thank you to all the patrons and youtube members great benefits to you uh, folks as well so appreciate that support now stay tuned because we got a lot more coming your way with standard topics we got a new season here for december we hopefully will get some tournaments um, we got historic brawl we do all kinds of stuff jank historic in general um, for our top decks 
um, tournaments, all that fun stuff. Hopefully here coming soon. Um, live stream on top of that. I want to get back um, because we got to do it. Um, last but not least, Friday Night Meta Weekly Series and our tier list um, and some fast fun facts. So with that, stay tuned, Planeswalkers. We'll see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed our Is It Dragons 7 Win Metagame Challenger deck list today. Um, we'll see you again soon on top of that. Stay safe. Take care. Until next time, Mithras out, my friends.